Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about my recent render, which is called Microsoft Engines. So this is more like a walkthrough, not exactly a tutorial, and I'm going to show you some of the key steps and features I took in getting these results. But before we get into the video, I just want to talk about the channel sponsor. Okay, so maybe I'm sponsoring myself a bit. I mean, that's a lot by YouTube, right? Anyway. Veil my last Blender animation project files are up on my gun mode at a discount of 50%. In case you want to see exactly how I put my scenes together in Blender. Now all these scenes were constructed 100% in Blender, so you do not need to worry about extra software like Photoshop, After Effects, all those things, not really. Um, however, you only get the Blender projects that are related to the video. Um, I did use stock footage, footage in the video. So check the link in the description along with the discount code where you get 50% off my Veil animation. Also, the project files are also on my Patreon for $6. You also want to check that out. On my Patreon, you get all project files and unedited videos of my workflow. So you're able to see how I bring my scenes to life. Um, as of now, disclaimer, as of now, I do not have any videos there yet. But in my upcoming scenes and renders, I'll upload my unedited videos. So you just 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 click the link in the description and check it out. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so I first of all started with the camera. This is because I was recreating a picture, so I wanted to be close to the original as possible. So I gave my camera a square ratio, 1080 by 1080, and added other camera effects such as depth of field and other extras. Well, in Blender, from the little I know, one of the best ways to achieve realism is to mimic it. So I went online and just checked average dimensions of a container. I also got a few high-res images of containers on Unsplashed to help with the modeling and reference imaging. For the texture of the container, I used a free add-on which is called Easy PBR. I really recommend it. I will link it in the description. The modeling of the container was not too difficult. I was able to get something cool. I was really happy where I got in the end. Then I switched over to the environment. Okay, so for the environment, all I used was a sky texture and I added a noise texture plugged into a color ramp in order to get clouds into my scene. From there, I just duplicated the container until I had something similar to the original photo. Okay, so I got a few models from Sketchfab, including the track and the wires. I also modeled some other parts that were far simpler by myself. I adjusted the colors of the container and I just did a few tweaks trying to get the closest outcome similar to the painting. For the Microsoft effect, I downloaded a PNG file and mixed it with the container's texture. I also used the noise texture and plugged that into the factor of the mix node to get that worn out effect we can see. I did some UV unwrapping to ensure that like everything was in its correct position and that is how I was able to get that Microsoft faded rusty outcome. Okay, now for the compositing. The compositing was the most challenging part for me. Earlier on, it was just basic modeling and kit bashing from Sketchfab. But now I was having difficulty just being happy with the render. I had multiple outcomes, but it still felt like something was missing or not good enough. So I eventually made a few tweaks in the viewports and still, it still, it still was just not good enough. Later, I realized that I might need some inspiration or some other form of reference. So I looked up similar images. I actually took the painting image and I put in Google's image search feature and I looked up similar images and I came up with these results or I came across these results. I got obsessed with this one in particular and I transferred all of them into my PRF and just continued editing. I tried to mimic this one so much and after like so much frustration and useless tweaks, I ended up with this. I eventually exported everything and before I was about to just finalize everything, I used my phone for extra tweaks and I felt slightly happier with my phone. I know that's not really a good practice, but I was actually happy with like the last minute editing I did with my phone 
And yeah, that was how I made Microsoft Engines. I actually gave it that name because I, I was getting kind of like Mortal Engine vibes. Like, I hope you guys have seen that movie. It's a very good movie. Yeah, so that was how I came up with Microsoft Engines. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Thanks.